set up jigs. This is a stop here. We'll set up jigs like this with clamps mm -hmm. so we can mass produce these cuts because okay. you need precision. Oh, yeah. Consistency. Make sure they're all the same size. Unfortunately, the diner, not all the openings are the same size, but what we've done is we've oversized the width of this so that we can trim these for each opening. Wow. So uh, basically, these are the pieces That's the stock that we're you're using. The windows out of. Yeah. What we do is and we no knots in there. It looks like it's pretty uh, no, we use clean nice wood. Stuff actually, these are uh, clear pine, kiln dry boards. Wow. And we have to take a wide board like this to get perfect lumber. You know, this is very stable. Boy, isn't that growth. interesting? So we have to cut wide boards, which is kind of a shame. If you notice the growth rings on here, we actually select boards that don't have the center of mm -hmm. the tree. Right. Lowe's, for some reason, says we our, our wood is heart wood, the heart of the tree. Yeah, which is which bad. Which is the worst part of the tree. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> so huh. as we saw this, so when we find cracks like this, we eliminate that part of the wood. Mm -hmm. So basically, we, we get a lot of waste. As you can see under here, we have some waste from other previous jobs. But right. Nothing goes to waste in this shop. It kind of right. leads to a mess. If you notice, there's no dust removal system here. We actually heat our shop with that downdraft wood stove mm -hmm. by using all of our scraps all from the machinery. And basically, when we get working in here, it gets too deep to walk. Right. And we start shoveling, putting it in barrels, and we heat the shop. Well, that's, so, that's, that's recycling. Yeah. Wow. So,